What's up guys? We have got the kettlebell deadlift here. You know, squat fitness. We do a lot of stuff for the quads. So anytime we're talking about deadlifts, we're really trying to recruit the posterior chain, the back of the legs, the hamstrings. So you need to be constantly communicating with people, making sure they're feeling that. If they're feeling lower back or something else, they're not doing the movement right, or maybe it's too heavy for them to handle. Usually I'm going to recommend ladies to be at least 50 pounds right here. So that could be 226s, or that could be you know, some kettlebell that's around 50 pounds. Your guys need to be around 90 or more. That's kind of starting weight. Your strong opinion will be more than that. That first edition where you're going to get your butt up, you got to actually do a squat or a regular deadlift. But the interesting thing about kettlebells, and this is a great way to show you how to do a barbell deadlift, is you can get behind your, your legs in your setup position. You know, in a barbell deadlift, you know, that's as close as you can get to as far as your legs. But the kettlebells you can really get those hips back and get the kettlebell literally behind the legs to recruit those hamstrings a little bit easier. So it's a great way to teach people how to do barbell deadlifts, and it's a little bit easier movement to get. Here's the, here's the movement that happens. People don't understand, you got a slight bend in the knees, and then your movement is your hips are dropping backwards. You're not bending your lower back to get down there. You're shifting your hips backwards. All your weight should be in your heels, hamstring strength should be stretching, when you feel those hamstrings stretch, you don't have to go all the way to the ground. When those hamstrings are really recruited, you push the hips forward and then you squeeze your butt together. So hips forward, butt together. One other thing you want to be watching is not to round the shoulder blades out. You want to keep that chest out the entire time. So once you're up here, you're locked, and then boom, the hips have to drop back to get in that lower movement. Hips go forward, butt squeeze together, everything stays intact. That is the kettlebell deadlift. That, that siren was not for me.